baseball from the Lone Star State as we get a look inside Globe Life Field. Tonight, it's an in-division matchup from the AL West between the Seattle Mariners and the Texas Rangers. Gerald Hayden continues to strike fear into the eyes of his opponents as he looks to bring a hitting streak to 40 games. Next. That's ball four. Three. Out. He's out. Out. Got him. And now here is Gerald Hayden, who currently sits tied with Paul Molitor's hitting streak from the 87 season as some of the all-time leaders in the category in his sights now. Matty, you start mentioning guys like Paul Molitor, I think of some of the greatest hitters in the game. You can't just be a swing and miss power type guy and get it done, or a burner and get it done on a hit streak level. You have to have the ability to manipulate the ball all over the line. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Well, it'd be hard to argue that he's not the best hitter in the game right now. Aside from the hitting streak, he lays claim to the league's best batting average as well. Hey, some great at bats mixed in with a little luck. He's been able to get this hit streak above 30 games. So next to hit is Shirtman Apostle, singled in his last at bat. Now the three and two pitch. Down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Rangers leave one. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. Next to stand in is Gerald Hayden, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Maddie. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. No balls and a strike to count. The wind up and the 0-1. There's a line drive, and he's swinging it as good as anyone, folks. The streak will continue. He's got a base hit. And that'll put him at an even 40 consecutive games with a base hit as that ties the legendary Ty Cobb. Yeah, I can't even begin to even imagine what this guy's thinking right now. 40 straight games in the big leagues facing this type of talent and finding a way to mix in a knock. Dan, as a pitching staff, it starts getting into what range when you know you're trying to end a guy. No doubt about it, D-Roy. You go through a meeting before the game, you're going over the entire team, and you don't want to be that guy that keeps that streak alive. Unfortunately, uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Mariners leave one. On to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. Ready now is number six. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The first baseman, number six. This one's down to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. To first. It's there. He got him. And here's that one again with show track. Great reactions to knock it down with the sliding stop. And almost just as impressive was the throw all the way across to beat the runner. Any way you look at it, a fantastic play. Up next, Shirton Apostle. He's one for two in the ballgame. Third baseman. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a line drive. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Next for Seattle, Gerald Hayden. As the switch hitter will bat right handed here. Even though he's batting right handed in this particular bat, this guy swings it from both sides of the plate. Numbers pretty much the same across the board. A terrific hitter right handed in this at bat. If you try to switch this guy around from the left side, he can do some damage also. Sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. Hitting's the hardest thing to do in all of sport. You take an ugly swing like that, take a deep breath, step out, smile about it, and get back in that box and try and do damage. High in the air out towards shallow right. Good. Well, come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Stepping in next, Gerald Hayden. 
There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the first pitch. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. And that will become out number two. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. The Rangers came through and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. A.J. Alexi claims the win out of the pen his first. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more,